Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the latest news and also the most recent information that we know about GTA 6. And more importantly, we're going to be discussing a number of reasons why we think GTA 6 is going to take longer to come out than we originally anticipated. So there have been a number of developments, especially in the last weeks or so, inside the GTA community that are especially important to the future of the GTA series, which of course includes GTA 6, and we're going to be discussing each of those in today's video. So we got a ton of really awesome and exciting information to discuss today, and we're going to be jumping into that in just a quick minute here. But first off, if you haven't already, be sure to drop your like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right after that, we're into the actual video. Now, today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Big Dog Plate. Now, as his channel name does suggest, he uploads all sorts of really interesting food challenge videos to his channel. And as always, he is open for suggestions from viewers for future videos. So if you go to his channel and see something that he has not uploaded yet, make sure to go ahead and let him know. And also make sure to go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to check out Big Dog Plate on YouTube and subscribe to his channel for new videos that are uploaded almost every single week. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as most of us probably already know by now, GTA 6 has been in development for a number of years, especially pretty much ever since GTA 5 released back in 2013. This is very common for game developers, and especially Rockstar, to start working on future iterations of games as soon as the latest one is released. Now, over the years, the development of GTA 6 has allegedly went through a number of cycles, at which point it was allegedly being produced at full speed at one point a number of years ago, but especially recently, development has slowed down, and I wanted to make this video to answer why exactly that is allegedly happening. Now, the first thing you want to remember is that Rockstar's main revenue source as a company right now is GTA Online. Now, Red Dead Online allegedly is also making some good money for them, but the king of the crop and pretty much their entire revenue is coming from GTA Online, specifically shark cart sales inside online in-app purchases. Now, Rockstar is taking that very seriously because they know online is the future of their business and they really hit a treasure trove of revenue when they released GTA Online all the way back in 2013, and player numbers as well as monthly revenue have both been increasing every single month ever since GTA 5 Online was released. So this is a big statistic that people need to remember, and a lot of people tend to think that GTA Online is having less player count now than it did before, when in fact it is actually the exact opposite. And this in itself is likely one of the reasons why Rockstar has slowed down development for GTA 6, because at the end of the day, it is much cheaper to create new DLC content for GTA Online every couple months compared to releasing an entirely new game, marketing that game, making sure people buy it, and then also supporting that with new DLC. So until we start seeing player numbers dip inside GTA Online, I do not see Rockstar releasing GTA 6 because from a fiscal sense and from a financial sense, it simply does not make sense for them to do so. So that is the first big reason that people tend to forget about in regards to GTA 6 development and especially GTA Online, but also another thing that people tend to forget about is also the new enhanced version of GTA Online and GTA 5 that Rockstar is finalizing right now. Now we talked about this enhanced version of GTA 5 in yesterday's video as well, so if you want more context on it and to get the latest information on that, make sure to go ahead and check that out, but pretty much the gist is that this is a new version of GTA 5 being redeveloped from the ground up for the next gen consoles, and this is going to bring GTA 5 into the 21st century, both in technology and also graphics. So what Rockstar is hoping on is to make this new version of GTA 5 a reality and for it to last a number of years for new GTA Online DLC to be released on top of. 
Now you may be wondering why didn't they just release GTA 6 instead of releasing this upcoming enhanced version of GTA 5. And the reason behind that is because at the end of the day, even with a major upgrade like this that is taking over a year now, it is still cheaper to upgrade GTA 5 than to make an entirely new game from the ground up. So those in combination with each other, which are happening right now as we speak, are the two main reasons, allegedly, of why Rockstar has slowed down development for GTA 6. Now allegedly the game is still being developed and they're still working on it, however they're not really allocating as many resources to it as they once did because again those two main reasons that we did just discuss are why GTA Online is so popular and why Rockstar wants to focus on that and people say in the community that Rockstar wants to milk it out and to be honest that is exactly what they're doing and whether you consider that a good or bad thing that is totally up to you. But let me know in those comments down below, do you think that Rockstar quote unquote milking GTA Online until the player numbers drop is a good strategy for them? Or do you think that Rockstar should focus on GTA 6 instead and getting that released? Let me know what your thoughts, opinions, and more are in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, let me know by dropping a like rating, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those bell notifications on, so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.